Hey guys, hello and welcome to GK videos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create and configure copy jobs for device to device or NAS to NAS data backup. For my demonstration, I'm using a PX4 uh, desktop model with IP address 192.168.0.15 and uh, PX4 300R rack mount device with IP address 192.168.0.24. I would demonstrate copy jobs using a CIFS and rsync protocol. I would configure the copy jobs on a PX4300D device. Uh, basically, copy job is bidirectional. It doesn't really matter from where you're configuring or you're pulling the data or pushing the data. It still work. Let's get started. So, uh, as you can see, I'm on the interface PX4300D device with 15 IP address. And here is the PX4300R rack mount device with 24 IP address. Now I'm in all features, copy jobs. Now add a copy job. Copy job name can be anything. Here I will enter D2D or device to device CIFS. I'm using a CIFS protocol for this demonstration of copy job. Now the override setting, the below one is do not override. Here only files in the source location that are not in the destination location are copied but no files are overwritten in the destination location meaning any new data you have on the source that will be copied to the destination but you are modifying any data on the source you run the copy job again that modified data will not be copied then the middle option is overwrite and delete here files in the destination location are overwritten with the files from the source location any files in the destination location that are not in the source location are deleted and the destination location becomes an exact copy of the source location this doesn't uh, this option is not being used for archival because it deletes the data on the destination which is not present on the source and the first option is more often used uh, overwrite and do delete here files in the destination location are overwritten with the files from the source location any files in the destination location that are not in the source location are preserved which means whatever the data you modify on the source that is not in the destination the destination preserves the data along it also copies the data so now here I'm using the do not override option along and uh, run when quick transfer button is pressed is an option when you configure the copy job and you want to run the copy job manually there is a button on the device you check this option press that button it automatically runs this copy job now the from is the source device from where I'm transferring the data the IP address I'm entering of the px4 300r click on ok now the protocol option which is selected by default Windows file sharing which I'm gonna use here CIFS and let me check if I can see the data what to copy I can see these shares but know the content because the share is protected invalid value all right so let me just enter the username and password which has access to that particular share backups now let me click on backups now the NAS is able to see the data underneath all right so now source is done the destination I just need to select the share where I'm transferring the data testing Oh boy, it already has the data. So uh, I'll have to select some other share which doesn't have data. And uh, for my demonstration purpose, testing 12, cool. This doesn't, doesn't have any data. So I can select testing 12 share as a destination share where I can transfer the data from PX4300R. Click on create. Now the copy job is being created. If I want, I can go ahead and schedule uh, the copy job as well. But here, I'm not going to schedule it. All right, click on apply. Now the job is done. One thing what I can check here right now quickly is that I can just go back to the shares and make sure testing 12 share doesn't have any data. All right, testing 12 view content cool I don't see any data here 
So the next time I come back and check here after running the copy job, I should see the data which is present on the source. Now go to copy jobs, run the copy job, click on play button, click on OK. Now the job is processing. So uh, it, it would not take much time for me because I don't have much data. Uh, so the PX4300D device would communicate with PX4300R using CIFS protocol with the authentication. Now it's processing. Done. So the job has been completed right now. Now I can check uh, the event log to make sure it has been successful. So as you can see the logs, I have created the copy job which is added, then the job is modified, then job was started, copy job is successful. Cool, I don't see any error message here, otherwise I would have seen some error message if the job was failed. Now go back to the shares, go to set testing 12, click on view content. Now I can see the data. Now let me just expand and I can see the audio files or mp3 files here. So uh, cool. So the CIFS, uh, the device to device replication using CIFS protocol works perfectly fine for me. So uh, likewise I'll have to test rsync. Let me check which share I can use as a destination. Lab, view content okay so this share is empty i can use it for my rsync uh, copies of testing now go back to copy jobs i'll create one more copy job for rsync now d2d to d device to device rsync and uh, here override setting i would use override and to delete the from option i'll enter the ip address of px4 300r device now drop 24 click ok change it to rsync protocol now i'll have to check if the nas is able to see the data no it doesn't see any data and it should not actually now if i enter the username password of the same which i use for cifs it should not show the data cool maybe i'll just enter the uh, rsync protocol port number it still should not show me the data no, it doesn't show the data here. All right. So now let me just go back to the uh, source PX4300R device. Let me check if rsync protocol is enabled and configured. All right. So I'm looking for protocol icon here. Protocols. Where is it? All right. Now let me check rsync. It's enabled go back to the settings okay it's not configured configure secure rsync credentials the username is rsync i'll have to enter the password for the rsync user and the port name default 873 i'll keep it click on apply now it is processing all right so now this part is done now let me quickly check the share permission. It really doesn't matter for our sync. Uh, all right, backups. Go to access permissions and admin has user uh, read and write permission. All right, cool. Now let me go back to the copy job again. Now this time I'll just change the username to our sync instead of admin and the password. And use secure our sync SSH backups all right so now the device can see the data select lab as the destination share folder click on create now i have created the copy job using rsync protocol now the next thing what i'm going to do is run the copy job and check if that works perfectly fine click on yes now processing the difference what I see between CIFS and rsync is that rsync uses uh, indexing method so it compares the source and destination files create an index and only the new data it transfer the first time anyway like it will transfer all the data but the second time you're running it will actually 
compare the data only the modified content are being transferred over the network and uh, the device to device replication you can use uh, in LAN, WAN doesn't matter if the devices are able to communicate each other now it's still processing and it should complete within a you know, fraction of seconds because I don't have much data alright so uh, the job has been completed I don't see any error message here and uh, it looks good to me as so far now just I'll close the copy job window now go back to the shares lab view content okay I can see the data here so I'm able to transfer the data between device to device using rsync as well so uh, th this tool is very useful when you have multi uh, devices primary and uh, destination you know secondary for archival you can configure it wherever you want over LAN over WAN but the device to device they should be able to communicate thank you so much for watching the video keep watching the video for more updates